Hello there. I hope that you will be able to use this video uh, for your information. One of the few things that the state of Oregon, especially in the uh, legislature, has done is created the OLIS system, the Oregon Legislative Information System. And as we get ready for the 2020 short session coming up next Monday, uh, if you happen to watch this this week, uh, you're going to want to know how to use OLIS. You really are. I've posted uh, the, the link and I've posted information about it over the years on my Facebook page and on my websites, but <clears throat> I've always, um, I've had people come up to me and say, how do, you, how do you actually use it? Where do you go? What do you click on? What do you do? So hopefully this video will help you with that. Uh, and uh, I will also, I'm going to do another video shortly on how to uh, use OrStar, which is where you can see campaign finance how much people are spending, how much they're bringing in, so on and so forth. So, but let's start today with OLIS and hopefully this will help you. Now, <clears throat> keep in mind that this is on a PC or a laptop. So there's a couple of things. I, I, don't, I don't use the mobile version, not because it's good or bad or anything like that, but because A, I can't see it. I just can't read it. I can't make it out. It's too small. I have to widen it and do all the pinching and stuff. So I'm, I'm gonna recommend you use a laptop or a PC. And when I go to the video here shortly and do the instructions, it's going to be using Chrome. I happen to be a big fan of Chrome for a lot of reasons, but whatever browser you use, it doesn't really matter. But just so you know, I'm going to be using Chrome when I show you where to click on what. So again, um, and, and keep in mind, with a YouTube video, you'll be able to pause and rewind and, and all kinds of things, and, and it should help you. I'll try to go very slow and move through the process and try to answer most of the questions that people have. Okay, so let's go to the instructional video. Okay, as you can see, I'm starting with my home page, which is Google. And really, this is the easiest way to get to the Oregon Legislative Information System. Just type in OLIS. And the first result that should come up is this right here, Oregon Legislative Information System. So you see in your Google search box, type in OLIS. The first thing that comes up should be Oregon Legislative Information System. <clears throat> now, uh, as you open the page, you can see, at least on this particular, this is due to cookies in your browser and whatnot, this opened up the 2019 regular session. This is where people get hung up a lot. They say, well, how do I get to, to today? How do I get to this session or, or whatever session I want to get to. There's a couple of ways. One, you can go right here where it says pick a new date and you can click on this calendar and click a date. But it's much easier to go up here to session. Click session and just click today. Now you can see it's changed to 2020 regular session, even though we're not in session right now, but maybe when you're watching this, we'll be in session. But it shows today's date. These things down here we'll come back to later when we're in session. But what I want to tell you right now is these are very valuable. Let's say it's a day during session and you want to know what's going on on the Senate floor. You would click Senate third readings and in here would be all the bills that are going to be voted on today in the Senate. Same over here in the House, House third readings. <clears throat> so anything that's going to be voted on that day in the House would be listed here. The bill numbers, sponsors, or who's carrying the bill, so on and so forth. But for our purposes, let's start with how to look up bills. There's the big button right there. It says bills. There are a couple of ways you can search. Click on bills. You can search by bill number. If you know the number, just type in the bill number there, right there, and click go. If you're not sure, you can actually do a search by text. You can check these boxes, bill title, catch line, measury summary, full text. There's lots of different ways you can filter your search and type in, you know, guns, firearms, whatever it might be. Uh, you can also, again, back to bill number, you can go to Senate bills and there's all the bills listed for this session. Click on the little arrow and it'll expand them out. So let's start with a Senate bill, but just, I, I'm not picking anyone. I'm just going to go with the first one. There's a couple of ways you can go about this. So you want to know what is Senate bill 1501? Well, just by holding your mouse on it, it gives you a short little summary of the bill right there. But if you click on it, it should open a separate page. Actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click and say, open link in new tab. 
My internet is slow today, but basically what's going to happen is that's going to open the bill for you to read. And I'm having a little bit of internet connection problem today. All right, so that's how you search a bill. You can also go to the bill sponsor up here. And you can search by legislator. Uh, again, I'm having a little bit of internet problem. <clears throat> Click on a representative. Let's use me, for instance. There's all the representatives. Go to bill post. There's chief sponsor of the bill and sponsor of the bill. Chief sponsor means that's my bill and I'm the chief sponsor of it. Sponsor means, hey, somebody came to me and said, would you co-sponsor my bill? And I said, sure. So here's my two bills, House Bill 4013, Kratom Products, House Bill 4014, Dog Training Facilities, and it's a, it's a land use bill. So again, you would click on those bills and read them. So that's how you search for bills. It's real simple. Now what about committees? Let's go to committees. And again, choose the Senate or the House or Joint. Let's go to the House again because that's me. Let's go to agriculture and land use. That's the committee that I serve on and there you can see there's the chair, the vice chairs, the members. When you click on these you'll get their email addresses. Down below you have the phone numbers of the staff who help us run these committees. Also the schedule of when they meet. Now eventually over here on this side where it says meetings once the session starts you'll have the dates and what's really important is you'll have a little icon that looks like a little camera. When the committee is meeting, click on that little camera button and you are live right there with them in the committee. So if you can't be at the Capitol, you can always watch. Now let's go to a previous session so that we can illustrate this a little bit better. And this is the other cool thing is you can go back and look at, look at all the sessions you can go back. Now remember when it says regular session, that's the normal either six month or 35 day session. Interim is the time in between those sessions. So let's go back, look how far back you can go by the way, all the way down to the 2007 regular session. Let's go back to the 29 session, 2019 session, okay? And it picks a random day, <clears throat> which was the first day, January 14th. But let's pick a day somewhere, oh, towards the end of session, June 24th. Now, because this has already happened, you can see a lot of action going on here. Remember, this is when the senators walked out, so there was nothing displayed over here because they weren't doing any bills. Over in the House, we were passing bills. This is what it looks like. This is all the third readings. Third reading means when we're actually voting yes or no on the bill. These are all the third readings that particular day, back on June 24th. Again, you could click on the bill and read it. You can click on the carrier and read it. But let's go to a bill itself. Let's say this 2312. Let's see if I can get it to open up. I'm having problems with internet connection right now, so I'm sorry if I can't continue on. Oh, okay. Let's try to get a bill to open. Doggone it. Open link and new tab. I'm just having all kinds of problems with connections today. Well, all right. At least you get the idea. You would click on that and you can read the bill. What's really important, and I think what I'll do is go to a committee. Let's go to a committee from 2019. And again, let's go to House Ag and Land Use. See all these dates? Those are all the times that they met, we met as a committee in the long session of 2019. Those little play buttons, that's the recording of the live time that we met. You could go back and watch the recordings. Here's the other thing you can do. Pick a date. Let's let's just randomly pick a date here. Let's go with 321. Gosh, nothing is opening up for me. I hate that little spinning thing right there. All right. There we go. Okay. These are the bills we heard that particular day or we voted on, which is what a work session means. This is public hearing. This is work session. Up here is a very important button meeting materials. Click on that. In here you'll find any written testimony, any test testimony submitted by somebody who was actually there that day, testimonies uh, done by the, 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 the person who sponsored the bill, any testimony. It's all here and it's all PDFs that you can just click on this link and read. 
You can also find uh, the amendments, amendments for this particular bill or that particular bill. And I know this is a lot of information I'm throwing at you at one time, but hopefully you just pause and go back and rewind. But your keys are, again, let's start at the beginning. Session, today, and whatever date it is during the session, that's the day you'll be taken to. See what's going on in the House chamber here. See what's going on in the Senate chamber here. The first day of session will be uh, February 3rd, and what will be interesting is down here, first readings, House and Senate, that's where all of the bills on the first day are going to be listed. They all have to be read into the record on the first day of session. And then they're, they're uh, sent to a committee. So session is the number one. Click on today. Refresh if necessary. And then bills and committees. So I hope that helps you understand how to use OLIS. It's really not very hard. I may be making it more, more difficult than, than it, it should be, but it really is quite easy to work with. And it's very helpful, and it's how you can keep up on everything that's going on in the legislature. One more little secret thing that I'll tell you about. Right here where it says Oregon State Legislature, people are always asking, how do I get a hold of my legislators or all legislators? Click right there. Bam. It opens up a new window. And again, if my internet weren't crawling right now, this would be going much faster. So I can sing you a song. Doobie dooby doo. Okay, here we go. This has everything that goes on in the legislature. Here's all the senators. So if I'm just holding my mouse right there, there's all senators, senators by district, senators Republican, Democrat, etc. Or find who represents me. Same here for the House. Just hold your mouse over it. All this information is here. So again, let's go, let's find Republicans. Representatives, Republican. There they all are listed. You can see the hyperlink right here for their email and for their website. This is not their campaign websites. This is their state legislative websites. This is not their campaign emails. This is their state emails. So let's see what old Bill Post is up to. Oh, there he is. What a nice smiling face there. What a happy fellow he is. You go to his website, boom, there you have Representative Bill Post, Republican District 25 Kaiser. There's a biography. There's news and information. And there's a district map and committees and a lot of other things. And we need to update that for 2020. We haven't done it yet. We're going to in the next few days. But that's how it works. There's more about bills. There's more about committees. But OLIS is the key. I'm going to close this and go back to OLIS. OLIS is the key. All right. Now, as always, if you have any questions, email me. You can use the email that I just showed you on my website, my state legislative website, or even easier, my personal email is just bill at billpost.com. Bill at billpost.com. Send me an email. Say, Bill, I just don't understand how that worked. I don't get it. What do I do? I'll try to walk you through it. Okay? But hopefully this video was instructional and does you some good. All right. Have a great day.